now I'm going to put some uh, magenta it's not red it's magenta um, color out in a surface um, I'm going to use my spatula to flatten it down and you always want to make sure that you're using the same size or you're spreading it out the same size as your roller um, to avoid making extra mess so I'm going to use my roller and start spreading about the ink on any surface. Right now I don't have a glass or a plexiglass, so I'm using this cardboard box I found. And what I'm doing is making sure my roller is nice and even. I change the directions I'm working with the roller. And I'm going to start spreading about. Now listen, you're not putting tons of ink. Uh, it's nice and even. Um, and then I'm going to start rolling into my liner cut. Now this is the first time I print the red, so I might have a lot of areas that need to be cut. And if that's the case, before we print we might want to cut them. So I'm going to start off with the left hand side I'm not pressing extremely hard um, just rolling it nice and even uh, changing directions and you can see that some of the areas that I want to keep as blue are starting to pick up with the red color so I'm gonna make sure that I'm working diagonal as well. I'm going through and I'm not charging the roller anymore. It's enough. You want to spread it nice and thin. Now, for the purpose of doing this exercise, I want to print it just to show you what happens. I'm not going to print on my blue that I had on top because I want to save those for when my plate is actually ready but I'm going to use one of the spare newsprints that we've sent you to print onto it so this is just a test print I'm just going to use the paper and before I start working with the baron I'm going to put this piece of acetate so that it can slide much better remember to start from the top right hand corner nice and even down to the to cover the whole surface of the of the liner make sure that the corners are worked things I can see from this print it's one that we're building up the layers of color within the print so it's not as strong red magenta red that I have wanted to have uh, so I would need to add more ink and second you can see all these little bits of red that are picking up so before I start printing I'm gonna make sure that I'm removing these areas because I want the blue to to be there if I go back straight without removing the ink I'm just gonna go straight because I want to be able to see where where the red is so that I can remove those areas and once they're removed I can do the print onto my blue I want to show you a trick of the trade because I've been working uh, cutting out the areas so I've got less areas with red but when I'm inking up I still have little bits um, I don't want to carry on uh, cutting them because I know that every time I'm rolling the 
there are many, quite big areas that are open. So the roller is too small to cover the whole area and stay on the surface. So what I want you to do is get some talc uh, and use a brush and just apply that talc onto the surfaces that you want to avoid printing. This works because the talc absorbs the oil of the ink. Now you'll see that the paper might pick up some of the talc, but don't worry about it because it will um, come off. The dust will come off. Okay. So then I'm doing it fairly quickly. The next step will be to get our registration mark. So I'm going to move out this dirty paper, place the registration. So I mark that that's the top, so the head of the devil goes that way. It sits within that square that we've marked as our registration. So we've got the first print in blue. I'm going to register the paper so the blue is touching the red and I'm registering from the top of the paper to the registration and it sits at the bottom of it. Then I'm going to place my acetate on top and I'm going to get my Baron to start printing. So I'm pressing, there is pressure going along. Once I've done the circular movements vertical, I'm going to carry on doing horizontal. Okay, lift this up and pull the print. So I've got three colors now, the white of the paper, the blue of the background, and the red 